days after Blue Ivy was born, Time magazine titled her the most famous baby in the world. And that's a title that she still holds with her achievements, stylish looks, and enough sass to have paparazzi following her every move. As the first daughter of Beyonce and Jay-Z, it seems impossible for Blue to do anything under the radar. But with the trend of her things surrounding her childhood and celebrity lifestyle, we have to pause and actually wonder if we're letting things slide because of who her parents are. Today, we're taking a closer look at the problematic things we all ignore about Beyonce's daughter, Blue Ivy. Famous from birth Any child that Beyonce and Jay-Z have is bound to be famous, but Blue Ivy's superpower has been incredible since birth. Even before birth, Beyonce's pregnancy with Blue was first cited at the 2011 MTV Video Music Awards red carpet, and later during her performance, Beyonce told the crowd, Tonight I want you to stand up on your feet. I want you to feel the love that's growing inside of me. And then she cradled her baby bump, bringing all the spotlight to baby Blue before she even had a name. Of course, the media was in love with Beyonce's daughter before they knew her, but with that love came a lot of attention, and some of it was truly toxic. Comb her hair. Within the first few months of her life, Blue Ivy was a constant headline in the news. And while most of that news was cute, some of it derailed into problematic zones. Like that time, some people thought it was a good idea to start a petition against Beyonce and Jay-Z for, apparently, not brushing her daughter's hair. It seemed like every time a new picture of the then-toddler was released, her hair was the definition of, I woke up like this, which was pretty normal for a two-year-old with natural, kinky looks. And while a lot of people didn't think too much about it, some people felt strongly enough about the situation to the point where someone actually started a petition about it on change.org. The since-deleted petition was called Comb Her Hair, and the creator wrote, As a woman who understands the importance of hair care, it's disturbing to watch a child suffering from the lack of hair moisture. The parents of Blue Ivy, Sean Carter, a.k.a. Jay-Z and Beyonce, has failed at numerous attempts of doing Blue Ivy hair. This matter has escalated to the child developing matted dreads and lint balls. Please, let's get the word out to properly care for Blue Ivy hair. And it seems like a lot of people agreed with this as the petition got about 5,000 signatures while it was live. And these signatures were supported with comments like, Cruelty to children has to stop. Annie Campbell. Blue Ivy's father, Jay-Z, likes to brag about his charmed life, while his wife is dripping in expensive weaves, jewelry, and designer gowns. Beyonce's mother was a hair salon owner. Please, comb that clown's, er, baby's hair. Mrs. M. Hart. The idea that grown adults were talking about a baby's hair like this was problematic enough, but Beyonce's response to the situation wasn't entirely helpful either. According to HuffPost, the pop star was spotted picking up baby relaxer products at a drugstore shortly after the petition went viral, and she posted a cryptic note with a baby comb at the corner page. The note read, Fine, I'll do it. Y'all happy? Damn. Well, Beyonce may have done that to get the internet off her daughter's back, but the next problematic thing wasn't as easy to shut down. The Trademark Battle When Blue Ivy was born, the internet had a field day about her unique name. There were theories, and the most popular public opinion was like this person on Twitter who said, I'm sorry, Beyonce's daughter's name is Blue Ivy? What the f*** kind of name is Blue Ivy? Well, it's the kind of name that gets trademarked. That's right. In 2012, about a month after Blue was born, Beyonce and Jay-Z filed an application to trademark their daughter's name. But that's not a new thing, and it's in no way problematic because tons of celebrities trademark their names and businesses. However, the drama surrounding Blue Ivy's name started in 2016, when a trademark application was filed to protect Blue's name for entertainment services. Now, there was already a registered Blue Ivy, an event planning company belonging to Veronica Morales, and Veronica filed filed in opposition to Blue's trademark. And that's when the fight got messy. According to Veronica, the original Blue Ivy trademark wasn't intended for use, and her source was Jay-Z's 2013 interview with Vanity Fair. The hip-hop icon had told the magazine that the allegations that he and Beyonce had trademarked Blue's name to produce a line of baby clothes was wrong, and they only did it so that no one else could, because people wanted to make products based on our child's name, 
and you don't want anybody trying to benefit off your baby's name. It wasn't for us to do anything. As you see, we haven't done anything. But Veronica's argument was rejected because that quote was regarded as hearsay within hearsay. And eventually, in 2020, Beyonce won the legal battle and Blue Ivy Carter is not available for anyone's use other than Blue, of course. But the problematic legal battle that led to that point was a cause for a lot of people to raise their eyebrows at the Carters because it seemed unnecessary for them to drag a business owner just so their daughter could profit from her name. And that brings us to the next thing, because when you really think about it, why were they assuming that Blue would have an interest in business of any sorts at all? Well, obviously because of who her parents are. A career, not a childhood. Blue Ivy broke the Guinness World Record for being the youngest person included on a Billboard charting song when her vocals were featured on her father Jay-Z's song, Glory. Blue was less than two days old at the time, and that was only the beginning of a childhood that's looked more and more like a career and less like a young kid's life. At the age of nine, Blue became one of the youngest people ever to receive a Grammy Award, and she remains the youngest person to have received a Grammy Award for Best Music Video. Her appearance and vocal contribution on Beyonce's Brown Skin Girl alongside Wizkid was the credit that got her the award, but people believe that it was actually a case of privilege because her parents are two of the most famous people in the world. As one person said on Twitter, Blue Ivy is enjoying the benefits of privilege that millions of children will never experience. Elites are the real systemic problem plaguing America. And on an unpopular opinion subreddit, someone wrote, That kid can't even sing. She only got a Grammy because her mommy and daddy are rich and famous. The weekend wasn't even nominated. In your talking time, this kid, who had less talent than the baby shark kid, gets a Grammy? There are people who work ten times harder and can sing ten times better who didn't get anything, and this rich kid gets one of the biggest music awards ever just for having a famous mommy. This was ridiculous, and I hope it never happens again. I'm tired of rich kids getting everything handed to them for doing nothing. But Blue Ivy isn't exactly doing nothing. She dances and has participated quite seriously in some of Beyonce's live performance choreography, with tons of appearances in her parents' music videos. However, we also can't deny that she's a nepotism baby that enjoys the benefits of having famous parents. Unfortunately, that does mean she has to be a public personality instead of just being a child. From hiring a personal stylist to get Blue red carpet ready, to taking her on tour and basically throwing her into the deep end of the entertainment industry way before she's even a teenager, Beyonce and Jay-Z have turned Blue's childhood into a head start on her career. And that's led fans to wonder if Blue may be growing up way too fast. Growing up too fast. Blue Ivy has more star power than a lot of up-and-coming Hollywood acts, but some of that power may be aging her faster than her preteen years. While she still has the adolescent mannerisms of cringing when her dad draws attention to her in public, With us in the Bay and here at Chase Center tonight, 24-time Grammy Award winner! Blue is nothing like your average 10-year-old. And people have noticed how she's starting to not look her age either. In a picture shared by Tina Knowles on Blue's 10th birthday, the Grammy Award-winning preteen looked stunning and taller than her grandmother. And of course, people were quick to talk about it. Reacting to the photo, someone said, I had to pause for a second and think, who's that standing next to Tina? Since when was Blue this grown? And another person tweeted, Blue is Tina's height already. I thought that was a grown woman in the photo. Maybe it's the silk press. Maybe it's her stylist's choices of mature outfits. Maybe it's just social media showing its ugly side. But for some reason, Blue seems to be looking way older than her age. And it's just problematic to think that tabloids may start hypersexualizing the young girl. And if people overreacting to how she looks is a problem, wait till you find out just how much Blue spends. How much is too much? Jay-Z and Beyonce have a combined net worth of almost $2 billion, so it's no surprise that their first daughter has a net worth of $500 million. With that much money in the bank, it's only right for Blue to indulge in some expensive hobbies. And lately, her favorite pastime seems to be auctions. Blue went viral for trying to outbid Tyler Perry at the Wearable Art Gala in 2018, when she placed a $17,000 bid on an acrylic painting of a young Sidney Poitier. Tyler Perry fired back with $18,000, but Blue was quick to put up her hand, bidding $19,000, while her dad Jay-Z jokingly tried to get the then six-year-old to put her paddle down. Tyler 
Perry eventually won that round, but Blue Ivy wasn't ready to give up on bidding wars. At the 2022 Wearable Art Gala event, Blue had her sights set on a pair of Lorraine Schwartz earrings worn by her grandmother and the event's co-founder, Tina Knowles, and previously owned by Beyonce. The earrings were the highest priced lot of the evening, and just as someone else was about to get the set for $80,000, Blue jumped into action, literally. As the hall burst out in surprise, Blue waved her paddle while standing, and she seemed eager to get the earrings for $95,000. Unfortunately, the 10-year-old lost out on the earrings as they were sold for $105,000. But what's truly problematic about Blue's access to money is how it can be destructive. Hollywood celebrity kids and an unimaginable amount of unsupervised money do not have the best track record together. But considering who her parents are, maybe things will turn out positively different for Blue. As much as we love Blue Ivy, we can't deny the amount of privilege that she enjoys because her parents are Beyonce and Jay-Z. Being a celebrity's kid is one thing, but Blue Ivy is basically a celebrity herself at this point. And maybe that's why people don't spend too much time talking about these problematic issues surrounding her upbringing. While Beyonce and Jay-Z seem to be doing everything differently with parenting their twins, Sir Carter and Rumi, they obviously have had some questionable slip-ups in Blue's upbringing. But hey, if anyone can turn these problematic things around and raise Blue Ivy to be as successful and confident as we already know she can be, it's definitely Beyonce and Jay-Z. So we'll just have to wait and watch her continue to grow in the spotlight. So are any of these things problematic enough to mean trouble for Blue when she's an adult? Do you think the media attention is forcing Blue Ivy to grow up faster than her age? Or is it just a side effect of her famous family? Let us know in the comments below.